Today, we're going to review how to do a one-handed knot tie. For this, we'll need our knot tying board, our practice string or suture, oh silk ties work best, and gloves are optional, but I highly recommend them. It's always best to practice the skill the same way you're going to have to execute it in the operating room. You can use this tie to secure any knot, especially when you may only have one hand free to tie. And some attendings will only want you to use a two-handed knot tie to tie sutures in the operating room, but some are okay with you moving on to this skill or starting with a one-handed tie if that's what you feel most comfortable with. To start, we'll put our knot tying board in front of us and we'll thread our practice string behind the side that has the Penrose string. I'm going to put the blue side of my string on the left side and the white side of my string on the right side. For this knot, my right hand is going to be my tying hand and my left hand is going to be my post, which means my right hand is going to be doing most of the moving. Now, no worries if you're left-handed. We have a video to demonstrate a left-handed one-hand knot tie as well. And the key to making this knot is going to be hooking your index finger around the string, which can seem a bit confusing at first, so we'll start off slow. To start, I'm going to drape the right side of my string around my right index finger so that the middle part of the string lays across these three fingers here, drapes over my index finger, and then the loose end will come up and over my index finger and drape across the palm of my hand like this. Next, I'm going to take the left side of my string and drape it over these three fingers as well, and the two sides of the string should be parallel. From here, I'm going to take my middle finger and I'm going to pull the blue end of my string with my middle finger under the white string over top so it looks something like this. Then with my middle finger and ring finger pinched, I'm going to pull the white end of my string through and cross my arms to then lay down a square knot. Now this is just one half of our knot. In order to continue throwing square knots, we'll have to switch to making fours, and I'll show you what that looks like. To start, you'll pick up the same side of the string with the same hands that you had before, and using my index finger, I'm going to bring the white side of my string over top the blue side to make what almost looks like a number four, if you can see that. From here, I'm going to bring my index finger under the blue string and I'm going to hook the side of the white string that is on the opposite side of the blue string. I'm going to take that hooked part of my white string and pull it through the middle with my index finger and then pull on both sides to then bring down my second knot. Since we crossed our hands last time, we don't need to cross our hands this time. And to continue, you would move back to laying your string across your right palm and then alternating back and forth between making your fours and laying the string across your palm for each knot so that way each knot lays square. And that is how you do a one-handed knot tie.